Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today we, I, am going to revisit the Marshall JCM 900. So back in, I think it was 2004, I traded a mint brand new PV5152 for a JCM 900, the 4500 variant, not the 4100 dual reverb variant that we're testing today. This was basically the non-reverb version of the JCM 900. Now, in those days, you met the guy off Craigslist, which is what I did. We did the deal and I took the amp home. Now this was a mint condition, well taken care of amplifier and I plugged it in and it sounded exactly like Bush's first record, 16 stone. If you guys are familiar with any of that material, everything Zen, machine head, glycerine. It was very, very fuzzy and crunchy. Not what I was expecting when I saw, you know, some of my favorite bands like Rise Against and Rance using the 900 and Alkaline Trio. Those bands sounded much more martially. This amplifier in particular did not sound like that. It was it was basically a big muff in a box. And I don't know if there was something wrong with that amplifier, but yeah, I, I joined the rest of the internet in, in hating the JCM 900. And we should probably talk about that. So the JCM 900 is probably the most trashed of all the Marshall amplifiers, all three versions in fact, because most people point to the fact that this uses clipping diodes in place of tube stages, tube gain stages, to make its gain. This is a much more high gain amplifier than say the JCM 800. However, there is a single input stage, actually there's not even technically an input stage, but there is one tube for the gain stage and then the rest of the gain is made up with IC chips and LEDs. What does that mean? Basically, it's a giant distortion pedal with a power tube section uh, for, for the power. So that is very unique for Marshall and I don't think they ever did anything like that again. Now I will say the Marshall Silver Jubilee does using clipping diodes, but it's a wildly different amplifier and it doesn't solely rely on the clipping diodes to make up its gain. Okay, so the JCM 900 was basically Marshall's answer to the hot rodded 800 and the more gain that everyone wanted at the dawn of the 90s, because this was 1990 when it came out. The dual rectifier was just about to come out. The PV5150 was a year away from coming out. Marshall needed more gain and a stock amplifier, and the 900 was their answer to that issue, and people did not like it at all. So the amplifier I have here today is a reissue Marshall JCM 900 dual reverb 4500 uh, courtesy of my friends over at Sweetwater. Sweetwater is the place to go for all of your amplifier needs. Shout out to them. I will link down below for more info on this and all amplifiers, linking over to sweetwater.com. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's dive into this thing, shall we? So first let's try, let's try this thing in a, in a context of a high gain full mix scenario. I will not be using a boost. I will be using Let's go ahead and use my 1950s Les Paul Standard 2022 model that I just got that you guys haven't even seen yet. And I'm gonna plug straight into the JCM 900. Now the reason why I'm gonna use this guitar is because the fullness of this guitar lends itself to the overall thinness of the JCM 900. These amplifiers are a little thinner than say a Jubilee or an 800 or even you know DSL 2000 or something like that. So. I'm gonna crank it up, I'm gonna plug straight into it, no overdrive, and let's see what kind of tones we can get in the context of a mix. So now that we have the full mix out of the way, let's stick with the same guitar, a 50 standard Les Paul, 
and I'm going to just twiddle some knobs and let's just play around with the reverb and both channels of the JCM 900. Let's do it. So what do I think? This amplifier sounds wildly different than the one that I had 20 years ago. Do I think it's as good as the 800 or my Silver Jubilee, which is one of my most loved amplifiers I have in my entire collection? No. Do I dislike this amplifier? No, I love this amplifier. This sounds great. Now, I will note that I did have to fix the reverb tank right out of the box because the the wire was pinched when it got installed and it happens. It was just a simple solder drop. However, this amplifier sonically sounds awesome. Does it have a little bit more of the top endy? That's pretty indicative of, of clipping diodes. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Does it sound great in a mix? And does it sound great if you just dial it in properly? Yeah. Honestly, I don't understand the hate. Now I will point out that the, this reissue, that I'm using for this of this video is retails for $3,000, which is about $700 less than a Silver Jubilee. However, if you go in the used market, you can get original 90s JCM 900s for about eight, nine $9,000. So if you like the sound of this amplifier, if you like the sound of bands like Rise Against, go to the used market and scoop one up because they can still be had for dirt cheap because no one wants them. Don't tell anybody that they're actually awesome. Let the cork sniffers just have their fun. It's okay. Honestly, JCM 900 is a sick amplifier. Is it an 800? No, I'll get an 800 for that. Is it a Silver Jubilee? No, I'll get a Silver Jubilee for that. With the right guitar, it's a great amplifier. I like this amplifier and I will be using it for future videos as well. That's all I have for you today. Link down below in the description for all of your needed info. And with that, you've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.